the fact of the matter is if we do also see consumer spending can pulling back. Remember, America is a consumer-led economy. If those numbers start to pull back, you are going to see weakness in the market. And you know what will happen is that technology will continue to climb higher. The, the, the discord between technology and the other sectors will just continue and uh, exacerbate the feeling that the market is, is uneven. Because that's, that's what, you know, the criticism is, that it's too uneven. Oh, yes, very uneven. Uh, good morning, Tanvi, joining in this conversation. So we keep talking about the gap between the markets and the macros, but within the markets as well, it's really a tale of two markets with what tech has been doing. What do you make of that move? And is it time uh, to cash out? No, I mean, what's interesting is from, from March 23rd on, when the Fed basically uh, gave the Fed an underpinning of, liquidity, tremendous liquidity, but also had the markets functioning again, investors and traders came up with the with some certainty, pockets of certainty. Technology was clearly one of them. And, and during this past earnings season, you understand why they make money, they have strong balance sheets, they have recurring revenue. We've even heard from large tech company today uh, in terms of share buybacks. This is what is, is, is doing well. And the market is prepared to pay a higher premium for that in a period of scarcity. Similarly, uh, when you go on the other side of the barbell, so to speak, you have companies right. that are providing food, uh, chocolate, sure. cleaning material, Clorox, all doing well in addition. And biotech is doing well. But what you need for a healthy market is a much broader market. And by the way, getting back to technology, you're even beginning now to see more mm. selectivity within mm. technology. That's actually healthier uh, rather yeah. than having all of technologies rise at the same time. 